and welcome to our fourth installment of the Washburn Experience. In our first installment, we explored the founding of Washburn University and its humble but ambitious beginnings. In our second installment, we discussed the growth and development of this educational institution, its highs, its lows, and the true meaning of the phrase, non nobis salum. And in our third installment, we relived the devastation of the 1966 tornado, the monumental effort to rebuild the campus, and the expansion of educational opportunities. Non, non nobis salum, not, not for ourselves, ourselves alone. The late 1980s were an emotional time on campus. After being in office for only five months, President John Duggan died of cancer. Vice President of Academic Affairs Robert Burns stepped in and led the university while a national search was conducted. In August 1990, Hugh Thompson became the fourth president of Washburn in just five years. In a statement to the Topeka Capital Journal, he said, This is the first year in seven or eight where we have not had an interim or acting academic or administrative leadership position. Hopefully there will be some stability and continuity. Dr. Thompson emphasized a culture of learning. His goal was to make Washburn a premier undergraduate institution. In the 1990s, several building projects created a sense of excitement and reinvigorated campus life. Valley Field Baseball Complex debuted in 1990. The law school greatly expanded its library and classroom space in 1992. KTWU moved to campus in 1994, and the long-awaited Bradbury Thompson Alumni Center opened in 1996, complete with a bronze Ichabod statue in the garden. Several Washburn alumni made state and national news politically in the 1990s. Joan Finney began her term as the first woman to serve as governor of Kansas in 1991. And Jim Slattery completed his 12-year service as a U.S. representative in 1995. Washburn boasted two alumni campaigning for the 1996 Republican nomination for president, Bob Dole, a 1952 graduate, and Art Fletcher, a 1950 graduate. After seven years of service, Dr. Thompson retired from Washburn University and Dr. Jerry Farley was selected to lead the institution. As he reflected on his years of service, Thompson said, Jerry Farley is coming in at a very exciting time for the institution. My hope and aspiration for him is that he can take the institution to the next step. With the hiring of Dr. Farley, the Washburn Board of Regents began yet another unique chapter in the history of Washburn University. Much like the early beginning of Washburn, the board, faculty, and the administration set a cooperative course to reinvent the institution for the new millennium. The first major change was to reposition the university as a student-centered campus, integrating a younger residential student population with the non-traditional commuter student would prove to be a successful formula for campus growth. We want to build a community where scholars will live together and develop the art of friendship. This is what many of you remember Washburn to be. Let's go back to the future. In order to fulfill the vision of bringing more traditional, direct from high school students to campus, the Living Learning Center was completed in 2001. Soon full, another facility was needed. In 2004, the Washburn Village opened to provide more apartment-style living. As enrollment increased, and with more students living on campus, student life became more vibrant and diverse. A student recreation and wellness center was opened, and the number of student activities, clubs, and organizations increased. Commuter students also became more involved in campus life. Greek life still remains an important part of campus life. For the first time in 60 years, a new fraternity, Delta Chi, was given a charter. Kappa Alpha Theta, Alpha Delta, Phi Delta Theta, and Kappa Sigma all recently celebrated their 100th anniversaries. The new era also brought many athletic changes to the campus. Washburn University joined the MIAA Conference in 1992 and added women's soccer in 2002. Lee Arena, Moore Bowl, and Whiting Fieldhouse received makeovers in the new millennium. Here are some notable athletic accomplishments from 1990 to the present.
As the vision succeeded, enrollments at Washburn continued to increase. Ranked as one of the best colleges in the Midwest by U.S. News and World Report, Washburn enhanced and expanded its academic programs to meet the demand. From its new liberal studies degrees to its traditional specialized areas of study, the College of Arts and Sciences equips students with a broad interdisciplinary education. A new art building features student exhibit, computer, and creative design spaces. Stouffer Science Hall was renovated, making it environmentally green and creating a state-of-the-art facility. The chemistry and biology departments joined a statewide biomedical consortium in 2002, receiving over a half million dollars for undergraduate research to date. In 2009, the University Orchestra accompanied the rock band Kansas on their 35th anniversary DVD recording of No Place Like Home. A campus partnership with the Washburn Foundation, KTWU, and the music department won a regional Emmy for the 2011 performance of Holiday Vespers. And the communication department's debate team won national trophies in 2010 and 12. Washburn Law celebrated its centennial anniversary in 2003 and recently published a book about the first 100 years. In the last 15 years, the School of Law established six centers of excellence in specialized areas of the law. And the Legal Analysis Research and Writing Program has established itself among the top 20 in the nation. Two master's degrees were recently added, and the school was named one of the top law schools in the nation for practical legal training, and jumped 25 spots in a major national ranking, the second largest jump among the 203 American Bar Association accredited law schools. The School of Business earned accreditation from AACSB International in 2006 and celebrated its 40th anniversary in 2013. New programs are bachelor's level concentrations in international business and entrepreneurship and a master of accountancy. Check out the Schmidt Finance Laboratory and the Topeka Business Hall of Fame on the main level of the Henderson Learning Resources Center. Celebrating 40 years of educating professional nurses, the School of Nursing has added several graduate programs, including a new Doctor of Nursing Practice in partnership with the School of Business. RNs can now earn a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree online, and the Nursing School operates COACH, our collaborative outreach advancing community health, which is a mobile simulation laboratory and health clinic serving thousands in Northeast Kansas. In 1992, the Social Work and Criminal Justice Departments transferred to the newly reorganized School of Applied Studies and both soon added master's degrees. In response to the needs of the local businesses and the healthcare industry in Northeast Kansas, the school has expanded to over 20 professional programs, including two master's degrees, a Master of Health Science and a Master of Arts in Human Services. In 2008, Ka Area Technical School became a member of the Washburn family. Renamed the Washburn Institute of Technology, it offers numerous technical certificates. Students excel in national competitions and local companies partner with tech to provide training for their employees. After completing a certificate, students can earn a variety of associate degrees through partnerships with academic units such as the School of Applied Studies. Several programs are available to enrich the Washburn student. The Honors Program, the Leadership Institute, Washburn Transformational Experience, and APERON provide intellectually stimulating and challenging experiences. In support of many academic programs the university offers, it operates various interdisciplinary centers that engage faculty, staff, and students while creating a strong community connection. Washburn has academic exchange programs with over 25 different universities around the world. An average of 300 students each year come from other countries to study on the campus while nearly 200 Washburn students participate in study abroad programs. Many students get involved with hands-on projects locally and around the world through the Learning in the Community program. The university libraries have constantly evolved over the last 25 years, transforming into a bustling space where the entire academic community can learn, study, and connect in new ways. The Center for Student Success joined the libraries in 2011 and now provides advising and tutoring services in Maybe Library. 
Librarians and faculty partner to teach Wu 101, the university's first year experience seminar. In the early 1990s, card catalogs and journal indexes were converted to searchable databases, accessible from any computer connected to the internet. This shift from print to digital changed the way librarians, students, and faculty conduct academic research, with many articles and books now available online. The internet, of course, fundamentally changed teaching and learning, and the way universities transact business. The university website debuted in the mid-1990s, and online courses were first offered in 1999. The success of the academic mission is due in large part to the university's giving community. From its Washburn College roots to its reorganization as the Washburn University Foundation in 2010, alumni and other friends have financially supported students, faculty, and the expansion of campus infrastructure. The foundation conducts fundraising campaigns, invests the endowment to increase the value of existing gifts, manages scholarships, and supports academic units. Under President Farley's leadership, state funding was increased and other funding sources have been incorporated, such as a percentage of the Shawnee County sales tax since 1999. These changes created a broader funding base and slowed the rise in tuition, making a Washburn education more affordable. The university continues to be a valuable cultural resource for Northeast Kansas. The theater was named in honor of Andrew and George Anise Gray in 1996 for their dedication to the performing arts. The Grays established a fund to educate students and the community about women's issues. The fund also provides scholarships to young women who aspire, like Georgia, to a career on Broadway. Mulvane Art Museum renovations in 2006 helped to double the exhibit space and expanded its reach to young children with the opening of the Art Lab. Mulvane Art Museum broke all previous attendance records with over 50,000 visitors to its Lego exhibit in 2012. Educated citizens and civic-minded individuals make a community healthy. Dr. Farley realized this early in his presidency and worked with other leaders to establish Go Topeka, which attracts new companies and works to expand existing businesses. These successful businesses hire many Warspring graduates. The Board of Regents and President also encourage the faculty and staff to be a part of the Heartland visioning process to re-energize the local Topeka community. A thriving community is essential to recruiting and retaining well-qualified students and employees. In a prophetic moment during his 1998 inauguration, Dr. Farley discussed his vision. In the future, Washburn will offer students the opportunity to live in an intimate, diverse educational community with an abundantly vibrant campus life. Much of this vision has come to pass, but there is still more to do. A new campus master plan establishes a blueprint for future campus development. The conversion of Morgan Hall into a welcome center is the first step on the next leg of our journey. A second project is the KBI Forensic Science Center. Each successive step is meant to redesign the campus to promote academic excellence, student engagement, and community connections. A bright future is ahead. Through tough, troubled, and turbulent times, Washburn has found ways to triumph. Over the last 150 years, tens of thousands of students have graduated. Thousands of faculty, staff, and administrators have educated mentored and supported them. Each has been an important part of the inclusive culture of this institution. All have realized the importance of service above self. Washburn University of Topeka, celebrating 150 years of high quality, student-focused education, excellence in teaching, community partnerships, and a tradition of service to others. Non, non nobis, nobis solum. solum. Non nobis solum. Non nobis solum. Non nobis solum.